Good morning, guys. How are you? I hope everything goes well. But for today's session, we're going to see the different topics according to our third model, right? So here then we have the following presentation, taking into account all the details I'm going to explain. First of all, we are going to start seeing the schedule according to this model. So this schedule uh, provides different information and different activities you have to submit on time, right? The most important part. So here then we have, okay. Buenos días a todos ustedes. Acá tenemos el cronograma de actividades para este módulo, el módulo 3. Eh, vamos a trabajar con la OVA número 6, 7 y 8. Recordemos que son las OVA, son ejercicios de práctica, the listening and the speaking, right? And those are exercises that are focused on listening and speaking skills. Basically that. For a word OVA 6, the, there are some pronunciation of words. This activity is going to be available from today until August the 8th, right? And for the OVA the 7, uh, it's going to be available from today until August the 15th, reading aloud. Entonces, recordemos que reading aloud hace referencia a la lectura en voz alta, right? Entonces, para que ustedes hagan ese tipo de ejercicios de práctica que les permite reforzar esas habilidades y pues también a su vez conocer diferente vocabulario. So, OVA 8, the research tools for listening and speaking improvement. That's number two. It is going to be available from August the 15th until August the 22nd. Ok, eso hace referencia a las OVA, son ejercicios cortos que ustedes ya han venido trabajando durante los módulos 1 y 2. Posteriormente vamos a continuar con dos tareas y el examen final. La primera tarea se llama I like it bad, que va a estar eh, abierta desde el 1 de agosto hasta el 8 de agosto. El inicio de esta actividad, recordemos que empieza hoy, entonces van a trabajar de manera conjunta. I like it bad, but also over six, right? So, like two of them, you're going to just be aware that you have to send them. The forum, would you, would you come? Este forum, entonces tiene fecha de entrega. From the August the 8th until August the 15th. And the final exam, it's going to be available from the August the 15th until August the 22nd. This is the schedule for this basic, which is right away our course. Okay. Plan de formación y cronograma de actividades. Entonces, como lo vimos anteriormente, Tenemos las tres O's, pronunciation of words, reading aloud, research tools for listening and speaking in group. Recordemos que todas las encuestas que ustedes van a encontrar allí dentro de las O's hacen parte también de la nota. Por ello, encontramos dentro de la hoja de calificaciones alguna OVA 8 y al lado OVA 8 eh, survey. En relación a ello, se referencia a la encuesta. Quienes diligencian completamente la encuesta Tienen ahí puntos agregados a diferencia de los que no. That's why it's so important that you do all the activities that are required. Not only because they give you some points, but also because they are the activities to practice and to participate in the process. So, uh, for instance, the of us are related to our research in regards to if you think like those exercises could improve speaking and listening skills. Maybe with um, the practice, you can say yes or no, but you have some justification and of course some details and comments about it. So that's why it's pretty important to fill in the gaps all the information. Okay, would you come far? Would you come is referring to, to make use of a specific light and dislike verbs in order to relate one's favorite and activities through the completion on information in a format similar to a common social network. To, me, to make use a specific light and dislike verbs and excuses to a separate an invitation 
o even by reporting a reply in a form. Entonces tenemos acá dos partes. Vamos a ver el formato Facebook. No Facebook, it's similar to, to this, but it's not. Ustedes van a encontrar eh, el formato en Word. Van a seleccionar allí como tal las imágenes correspondientes en referencia al tipo de información que ustedes van a agregar. Es decir, que todos los cuadros que dicen insertar comentarios o insert comments, something like that, or and paste pictures, you have to fill in the gaps. You have to fill all of them, right? Recordemos que ustedes se pueden enfocar en algunas expresiones relacionadas a los gustos y a lo que no les gusta en referencia a diferentes actividades. Para ello, a continuación vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. Uh, you can follow the colors to write each sentence. Remember to check the material for the third model. Recordemos que tenemos las infografías, que es un material de apoyo, um, el contenido gramatical que encontramos dentro de cada uno de los módulos. Por eso ustedes pueden dirigirse allí, pueden la idea es que ustedes lean esta información, encuentren ejemplos de explicación gramatical y a partir de eso pueden comenzar a trabajar. Important. In the last part of the format, you have to create an event considering, considering like the one for the activity. Algo bien importante para resaltar en este formato Facebook es que una vez ustedes lo descarguen, en la última página van a encontrar una pestaña que dice evento or create an event. La idea es que piensen en algún tipo de situación um, en la que ustedes van a describir el lugar, a qué hora, cómo se va a desarrollar este evento, toda la información importante haciendo uso del presente simple, invitando a sus compañeros a que asistan a dicha actividad. Entonces, Sí es bien importante que hagan una descripción detallada porque digamos que muchas veces se encuentra eh, algún tipo de, de, de situación en la que no se describe como tal cada uno de los pasos. Entonces sí es bien importante. Posteriormente ya cuando ustedes suban este formato de Facebook, la idea es que con sus compañeros pueden replicar dicha invitación y pueden hacer algún comentario alusivo. Por ejemplo, you can say, I would like to go or I wouldn't like to go because this and this and this. Not only say yes or no, but also to complement what you said before, yes, in order to give more explanation to do, to it. Events replies, once your course mates post their events, choose two, two events from all the past and save some resources you would or wouldn't attend to that fictional event. Una vez, como les decía anteriormente, los compañeros posteen sus eventos, ustedes van a escoger dos eventos y van a mencionar la razón por la cual les gustaría o no asistir a dicho evento. Ok, lights. We are going to start working with These son expressions according to present simple, but regarding in regarding to lights. When you want to make questions about lights, okay? This one is pretty much the focus on. Uh, in this picture, you can see four dots. Where could be like the question referring to it? If you see that a person has in his or her house four dogs, what can you say about it? Okay, I'm going to go back. There is somewhere in here. No, there, are, there is no. So let's go back to the presentation. Okay, I could say, do you love dogs? Yeah, it is going to be one of the questions to uh, start like making an inquiry about it. Number two, do you like cats? Do you hate wild animals? And are you interesting, interested in getting pets? En la primera, hacemos referencia al verbo love. En este contexto, ¿qué puede significar? What do you think? Do you love dogs? ¿Amas a los animales o te encantan los animales? 
Do you like cats? Te gustan? Do you hate? Odias, right? Por eso animales salvajes. Como ustedes pueden ver acá, en cada una de ellas estamos utilizando el mismo auxiliar, dado que el sujeto es el mismo. Posteriormente tenemos el verbo love, like, or hate. Love, ok, expresa una connotación positiva. Like, al igual, pero hate expresa una connotación negativa. That's why we have in order, like all of those three verbs. Possible answers or replies, yes I do, no I don't, or I do not, or yes I do. Are you interested in getting pets? Yes I am, to me they are interesting. ¿Estás interesado en conseguir mascotas? Oh, sí, para mí ellos son interesantes, ¿verdad? But it depends according to your personal opinion. I could say, no, I'm not. To me, they are boring. Or they require I spend a lot of time with them. And maybe I am too busy or something like that. Okay, we're going to continue now with the use of would you like. Recordemos que lights, we have like those examples according to the some questions in what you like. This expression is used to invite a person to have something to drink or to eat. Also, it is used to make invitations. Entonces, este tipo de preguntas se referencia al te gustaría. Questions used in simple phrase. Would you like to drink milkshake? Yes, I would. No, I would not. Or no, I wouldn't. Te gustaría beber mateada? Yes, I would, or it depends. Would or wouldn't or would not you like to eat pasta? <coughs> Sorry. No, I would not. Would you like to go to the cinema with me? Yes, I would. Would you like to have dinner at 7 p.m.? Yes, I would. De esta manera, sabemos que para hacer las preguntas, formularlas, tenemos el would, Luego tenemos el sujeto, el like to. Recordemos que siempre para este verbo modal, would like, siempre va a ser seguido por el to y el verbo que le sigue en el infinitivo en la, forza, en la base, en la forma base presente. Would not you like to eat pasta in case you want to deny the information and the complement at the end of the sentence. Useful expressions to show likes and dislikes. Entonces ya vimos el uso de él, las preguntas relacionadas a las preferencias, con el uso del do o el does, like, love, hate, so on. But also we were talking about would you like to, to refer or to make an invitation or just um, If you want to yeah, invite a person to have some something to drink, something to eat. Likes and dislikes. Esas son las expresiones que nosotros podemos utilizar en el caso de eh, que estemos mencionando alguna actividad a la que queramos referir de manera diferente. Generalmente eh, en inglés utilizamos varias de ellas. Algunas veces... Las conocemos, nos suenan familiares, más otras veces no. Entonces, por ello vamos a tener en cuenta dicho vocabulario para que ustedes empiecen a crear el formato Facebook. Ok, likes. I love, I can stand, I'm crazy about, I'm comfortable with. I really like, I'm sick of. Ok, I love, I love. ¿Qué les encanta hacer? ¿Qué tipo de actividad? Yo puedo decir, I love swimming. Mm, or I love to swim. I love teaching English. I love traveling. Dislike. ¿Qué no les gusta? ¿Qué no soportan? I can stand listening lies, for example. No puedo, no soporto escuchar mentiras. I can stand listening lies. I can stand... Mm, violence or in Colombia. The next one, I'm crazy about. I'm crazy about where you can say. 
traveling to Argentina. I'm crazy about tasting new food. I can put out with. Mm, no me gusta para nada. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué tipo de actividad podemos hacer referencia? Ah, I can't put out with noisy places. I can't put out with bad words. I really like, I really like watching series. I'm sick of estar cansado de alguna situación. Uh, I'm sick of... Um, bad news in Colombia. I'm tired of traffic jams in Bogotá. I enjoy. ¿Qué tipo de actividad disfruten hacer? Or I really like. I really like eating out, for example. I enjoy traveling a lot. Feels good. Sounds good. Tastes good. Looks good. Si miramos acá, estas cuatro oraciones, junto con drives me crazy, bothers me, annoys me, Vemos que hay unos puntos suspensivos o elipses before the verb, antes de los verbos. Para ello debemos tener en cuenta que, a diferencia de este tipo de expresiones donde la actividad va al final, aquí va al inicio. Right? Pero entonces recordemos que son en ciertas situaciones determinadas, no en todas las expresiones que nosotros tenemos. Entonces, para ellos, nosotros podemos decir, I love cooking. Por aquí vamos a decir, cooking sounds good, right? Entonces, el tipo de actividad primero y luego, sí, la expresión. Sí, es una actividad en singular, por supuesto, va con, conjugada con S o con S, dependiendo del cuerpo que tengamos. Y el complemento. O si son varias actividades, vamos a omitir la conjugación de los verbos. Uh, what could I say would feels good? Swimming feels good. Playing soccer feels good. Going to the cinema sounds good. It is, like a, it is a good idea for you are just referring to or focusing on the activity. Tastes good. We can say that tiramisu dessert tastes, tastes good. Looks good. Mm, we can say that Peter looks good. Or this university looks good. Or we can say that Bogota looks good. Or Medellin or something like that. Drives me crazy, bothers me, annoys me. Drives me crazy. En ese sentido, el drives me crazy tiene dos connotaciones. Puede ser positiva o negativa. En el caso de que estemos hablando de algo que no nos gusta, podemos decir que noisy places drive me crazy. Or you can say that cooking drives me crazy, right? Bothers me. Que no les gusta, que les disgusta. Podemos decir que la violencia, the violence, bothers me, delinquency bothers me, the social issues in Colombia bother me annoys me, only one activity, alguna actividad o alguna cosa que los enoje. Um, we can say that going in Transmilenio annoys me in the afternoon, for instance. Okay, here, here we go. Now we have more examples according to the grammar four, but also Some expressions and subverts that we can use in case we are just referring to like those things. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. For the affirmative sentences, we can use. I like watching horror movies. You love sleeping late on Sundays. He enjoys visiting his friends. She prefers walking to her job. My laptop hates Trump Explorer. They dislike reading on buses. For the first affirmative sentence, I like watching horror movies, where it's present something that we feel comfortable to do it. 
In my case, I say I cannot stand watching horror movies. Very different according to your opinion. In the case of the negative, my mom doesn't like reading fiction books. Recordemos las expresiones que vimos anteriormente. Podemos utilizar my mom can't stand reading fiction books. I'm going to go back to see if someone of you is connected. For no right now, so I'm going to go back to the presentation. Eh, en la medida que ustedes vean la videoclase, la idea es que puedan participar y puedan crear diferentes enunciados en relación con las expresiones que vimos anteriormente o, o también con este tipo de ejemplos que tenemos acá relacionando información personal de las preferencias frente a ciertas actividades. Ok, uh, the next one. Do you like listening to music or do you love? Listening to rock music, pop music, gospel music. You love sleeping late on Sundays, all right? You don't love working in evenings, does you love the best? Entonces tenemos por cada una de estas filas un verbo en tanto la forma afirmativa, negativa como interrogativa. He enjoys visiting his friends. They don't enjoy spicy food or do they enjoy abstract art? Recordemos que siempre, luego del verbo enjoy, si vamos a incluir un verbo, ese tiene que ir con ing, siempre es una regla, right? The next one. She prefers walking to her dog. My dog doesn't prefer cold water. Does, her, does he prefer a professional stylist? My laptop hangs from a splutter. My dad doesn't pay waking, waking up early. Do you pay slow computers? And they dislike reading on bad lists. They don't like fast food. Does he dislike playing? Okay. Eh, de la misma manera como ponemos el verbo que le sigue al enjoy con ing, vamos a utilizarlo también para aquellos enunciados en los que incluyamos el verbo dislike. Can you provide and ask for preferences? Can you make use of the verb to be and the use of the modal verb would like? Those are the two questions according to the explanation of the topic seen before. I really hope that you understand all of this information, but if you have any questions, don't forget to send an email to me, and I'm going to answer as soon as possible. Thank you so much. This one uh, is my cell phone. It's my phone that you can contact me, or also you can send me an email through this email. Okay, guys, we're going to see right there. Would you come in the final tab? Recordemos la entrega de cada una de esas actividades aquí en el video clase Model 3. Ustedes pueden observar la video clase del día de hoy o en los otros módulos correspondientes al enlace que se tenga. I really hope that you understand this information will be useful for you. Have a great day and we meet 